Hey, what's going on? Joshua Elder here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I generate $3,000 per day like clockwork using YouTube and a simple three-step funnel. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you how you can relicense this exact same process and literally inject it into your own business. So whether you're an affiliate marketer that's looking to get started making money online, or you're somebody that sells digital products or even physical products, you can use the information in this video and deploy it inside of your own business. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel because on this channel, we really teach you how to build a business and create a life full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. And if you want to be notified of every video that I upload, when I upload it, go ahead and tick that bell icon. So give me a like and let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So how do I generate $3,000 per day, every day like clockwork? That can be something that somebody might see and they're like, no, that's, that's not real because you've never made money online before. But just to debunk all those skeptics, as you should be a skeptic if you're newer to the channel, there's tons of you know videos on YouTube uh, that teach you how to make money online. But the proof, of course, is in the results. And so what I want to do is I want to jump to my computer screen and go to my Stripe account. And you guys can actually see uh, yesterday we did $6,000. Today, oh, we're at two bucks, but it is only right around eight o'clock in the morning here in Utah. Uh, and you can see that uh, month to date from the first to the 10th, $25,539.22. And uh, if I look at my PayPal account as well, every once in a while we'll bring in transactions from my PayPal account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in here as well. And you can see January 3rd, we brought in nearly $3,000. So we make another $3,000 sell today. That's going to be uh, you know, $30,000 in the past uh, you know, 10 days or so which is on track to do a million dollars in a year. This is a process too, just so you guys know, I've refined over a course of the year. You know, I launched a program back in April and I tested this process back in April of 2019. I tested this and I had one of my biggest months ever online. And the cool thing about it, it was very predictable because I had control over pretty much the whole entire sales process. You see, with a lot of affiliate programs that you join, if you're an affiliate marketer, number one, you're reliant on a sales team and you're reliant on somebody else's assets fully. So, and that's okay to a certain extent, but when you're reliant on mostly somebody else that controls the whole entire sales process, you're very limited and you you begin to create this unpredictable, uh, this unpredictability in your income as an affiliate marketer. And so what I wanted to do is number one, solve that for myself and then help other people solve that as well. So let me actually show you how this process works. We got the trusty virtual whiteboard here. And the first thing that you need to any online business is you need traffic. I decided to choose YouTube as my traffic vehicle because YouTube is a search engine which means you get the most targeted buyer traffic from YouTube because people are just simply typing in exactly what they want. And if your video is ranked at the top of YouTube, or maybe it shows up at the side of, of a related video, then you can really get a ton, truckloads of traffic from YouTube, leveraging free traffic strategies. Now, 99% of my income, most of my income is profit because I leverage free advertising strategies. Now, I had just begun within the past month really going heavy on paid ads, so you'll probably see my paid ads, you know, around YouTube, but most of my revenue that's generated is from free advertising strategies. So you can build a six-figure business, a seven-figure big business, a multiple seven-figure business just by leveraging free advertising strategies, but it's gonna take consistency and it's gonna take work. I don't just upload one video a week and you know make a million dollars doing that. I upload at least three, if not four times per week uh, to generate traffic, to also simultaneously give value, build trust with my audience uh, so I can get enough leads. And so those leads can go down the pipeline of this funnel that you're seeing right here. And I can turn those leads into sales. And a funnel is just a simple online sales process. So when I create my videos on YouTube, let me show you an example here. This is an example of one of my videos that I created. 
what I will do is I will optimize the video in a way where it gets views from the search engine. So I uploaded this on January 4th. Again, today's the, uh, the 10th. We've got 4,088 views from this one video. And you can break down, hey, if 10% of these people just click the description right here and then a percentage of those, those people finish the whole entire funnel, we could predictably you know, figure out kind of what our conversion rates based off of how many conversations we have, again, how many people opt in, all those variances within the funnel. We could really break that down in the minute details, which is what you wanna do as an online business owner. Now, I don't wanna get into those details in this video, but it's good to know once you have a process that works, all you need to do is just simply keep repeating it. And so what I do is I get people from my videos, I give a lot of value in my videos, and I'm targeting specific key phrases or search terms that relate to the product that I'm selling. Now, I've got videos that show you how to drive traffic from YouTube that you can check out. I'll go ahead and leave those in the description below, but I want you to kind of get the gist of how this works. So if somebody you know, in my niche, which I teach affiliate marketers how to start and grow a business, so this video is all about ClickBank affiliate marketing. So if somebody typed in how to make money with ClickBank, there's a very good chance that this video will be shown in the search engine of YouTube or even at the side of a video that's related to ClickBank, right? So that would be the suggested video section, which would be over here. And so what would happen is the individual would watch the video and then they would go and click in the link in the description. And that's where they start this sales process right here where they go from an opt-in page to a case study page to Facebook Messenger where I have a chat with them. And yes, I chat with these people live and in person. I even either use my cell phone and record my voice talking to them or I use some auto text replies uh, in conjunction with that. Uh, to kind of automate the process. But in 2020, it is about automation, but it's also about personalization. And you'll see that throughout this funnel. So let's go ahead and let's break down the funnel, okay? So number one, right, they go from YouTube, they click the link in the description right here, and then they go to what's called an opt-in page. And that looks something like this. So what I do is I offer something of value on an opt-in page in exchange for an email address. If somebody was just to go to an opt-in page and say, hey, fill out your information here, uh, and you, know, you weren't offering anything whatsoever, they probably wouldn't fill out their information. So you wanna incentivize people to give you their information. So what happens is when somebody fills out their email address and they click on yes, give me access, what's gonna happen is they're gonna be added to what's called an autoresponder series. And these are emails that they will receive on a continuous basis from what's called an autoresponder service. So an autoresponder service would be like Aweber, it would be like MailChimp, GetResponse, Kartra, and what this service, these services do is they log all these email addresses for you so you can not only broadcast, aka mass email, your list anytime you want, but it will automatically send out emails on your behalf, indoctrinating your audience, getting them to know, like, and trust you, and then eventually, you know, purchasing your products. So that's the goal here is this point, you know, if they fall off the funnel, maybe they don't watch the whole entire case study video. That's okay because you have emails going out. Now in 2020, email is still effective. It still can work and it actually works really well with YouTube. And the reason is, is be, because they're seeing your video. They're seeing a piece of your content before they even enter an email address. Therefore, they're more than likely to open up your emails that you sent you send out to them because they know you. They know your name, they know your brand, they've seen you before versus running like a solo ad or running even paid traffic from Facebook that's just like maybe uh, you know a short story ad to an opt-in page. Yeah, they might open the email and consume it, but it's still not as good as video. Like they're spending 10, 15, 20 plus minutes watching your video and then opting in, thus creating a higher quality of lead and even eventually a buyer. So when they fill out the opt-in page, right? So for example, we'll just go ahead and click on yes, give me access. They're gonna go to a simple case study video. And these case study videos can be like PowerPoint presentations that range anywhere between 15 minutes 
all the way up to like 45 minutes. Um, on average, I would keep your you know case study video 15 to 30 minutes is pretty good. So I've got one right here and then I have another video right here that kind of breaks down the process in a little bit more detail. So the purpose of your case study video is to illustrate what was promised on the opt-in page. So it really just, just depends on what you're teaching. Are you teaching people how to flip houses, right? So what you would do is if you had an educational course that taught people how to you know, invest in real estate or, or flip houses, you would illustrate that idea or that concept by showing proof, number one, in your case study video, and then giving people sort of like a, a 10,000 foot overview of the process, kind of like what I'm doing in this video, and that will get them to sort of want more information thus getting them to reach out to you and then you showing that you're an expert because they've seen the proof, they've seen the process, they've seen that it works, and that's all you really need to illustrate in your case study video. So the, by the time that they get on the phone with you or they talk to you maybe through Facebook Messenger, that's what I prefer to do because I noticed that a lot of people that jump on phone calls, like a lot of people are booking phone calls right now, right? and the market is looking at that and they feel like they're just getting on constant phone calls to be pitched a product or to buy something. The reason I love Facebook Messenger and closing through chat, selling through chat, is that people have the free agency to choose to buy or not to buy without any pressure whatsoever and they can speak you know, with you and create this sort of uh, dialogue over a period of time. So I might have a quick dialogue with somebody that lasts five to 10 minutes, and I might build a really good relationship in that amount of time or they're just ready to buy, while others it might take a few hours, it might take a few days in continuing a dialogue because maybe they're at work, maybe they're you know, at home with the kids, you know, doing chores. And so what's really cool about this is it gives people kind of the, the free reign to get back to you as they wish without feeling the pressure of jumping on a sales call and being sold to, right? So what happens is after you know they go through your case study video and they see all the testimonials here, right? Which is what you wanna have if you're promoting your own products. It's just countless, countless, countless testimonials to show that undoubtedly your process works because this shows that, hey, if these people can do it, then, then they can do it as well. So testimonials are really powerful and I'm always updating this, this page with testimonials. So you can follow the same exact format. You know, if you use ClickFunnels, Karch, or whatever funnel builder you use, you can implement and model the same um, framework right here. And then what happens is they'll click to apply to work directly with me. And this is one thing I didn't include here, but this is kind of the bridge to Facebook Messenger to qualify people because I want to ensure that they're, you know, in fact, going to be a good fit. So they go through just a short 30 second application where I ask them numerous questions. And then based off of those questions, based off of whether they qualify, then I send them either to back to my YouTube channel saying, unfortunately, it's not a good fit, consume, continue to consume my content until maybe next time you reapply and you know your situation's a little bit better than we can you know have a chat. But if they do qualify, then we do have a chat inside of Facebook Messenger. And you can see I got countless messages. Uh, even look at this morning right here. And then we go back to Thursday, more countless method messages. I mean, these are all phone calls. These are all people that have kind of booked a phone call or AKA a chat with me, right? So. Super, super cool how well Facebook works for, for selling and closing. And really, I'm interested in, number one, not just like selling my product. I genuinely want to see if these individuals are a good fit for my program. And if they're not, even if they do have the money, then I'll turn them away. But if they understand the expectation, they're willing to do the work, then I, of course, invite them on board. So what's really cool about this is I have a proven script that I follow. So what I'll do is I'll, you know, kind of mix in voice messages. So I could be, you know, I could be playing video games. I could be, you know, uh, going through the mall. I could be even, you know, I could be doing anything really, uh, you know, at lunch. And I could just send a simple voice message and, and close all my cells 
while I'm on the go without having to show up to an appointment, without having to be on a call or you know, without feeling like I need to schedule my whole entire day of being on phone calls and not enjoying my life, which is one of the reasons why I decided to start testing this Facebook Messenger closing app. And once you know, I began to refine it and I realized it worked, I started creating these auto-saved replies, which are really cool because what I can do is I can just simply send you know, the outline of the program. I can ask them questions about themselves, their business, and it's in a way that's very personalized so it doesn't appear automated, but I also add in that personalization where I physically talk to them. You know, using voice in Facebook Messenger is huge and it does increase your conversions by quite a bit. So instead of using like the auto reply sometimes, sometimes I'll just say the same thing, you know, using my own voice in Messenger because I get a lot of people, they're like, Josh, is this really you? You know, uh, and I send a voice and I voice message and I say, yeah, it's this is me. And, and they love the fact that they can actually talk to me um, and it increases conversions instead of having to talk to some salesperson or some coach, right? So that's pretty much the process. And then I introduce the program and then I send them to a checkout page if they're a good fit and they purchase and that's where I'm making those $3,000 sales per day. So what you can do is you can apply this whole entire process into your own business, right? Take what you've learned today, apply it into your own business and you'll get some pretty dang good results. But if you want help in putting all this together, and or you want to relicense my program, you want to relicense this whole entire proven process to where I can inject it into your brand new business, then all you need to do is click the link below in the description to learn more about how you can do this and how you can literally copy my YouTube content. You can copy my whole entire sales funnel. You can copy my follow-up emails. Heck, you can get access to the program to model everything if you want to model it for your own business. It's completely up to you. But with that said, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give me a like, You know, comment below letting me know that you got value. What else would you like me to talk about on this channel in the future? Would love to hear. I'm always giving you guys up-to-date concepts and ideas that work in the marketplace right now and video is huge. So it's all about consistency with your YouTube videos to generate your traffic into your simple three-step sales funnel. And then of course, focus on that follow-up and using those scripts to close through Messenger. So click the link below if you wanna learn more. And also got resources on how to drive more views and traffic on YouTube below. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.